Hey everybody, Ranch in here, bringing you yet another StarCraft commentary! Set 3 of Samsung Khan vs SKT1, baby! Okay, that's out of character. Anyway, really looking forward to this, I've been dying to watch this, and I've had to procrastinate it due to being busy and sleepy. And other such things. Stork vs Bisu, ladies and gentlemen! Epic Protoss vs Protoss matchup coming your way. I think this, in my humble opinion, this is one of the greatest and most interesting rivalries in StarCraft today. Stork vs. Bisu, these Protoss beasts. Probably the two best Protoss players right now. I'm just gonna ignore best right now for a little while. And these guys are... <laughs> Stork and Bisu are the OSL and MSL champions, respectively. Stork, they're getting a four and a half star rating of something. The star rating! Anyway, these guys have been playing each other a lot, and when they play, one of these guys win, the other lose, and it's usually very even. At one point, Bisu beat Stork for the MSL Finals, for the MSL Championship. Stork beat Bisu, the last OSL in the round of eight, to get to the finals and win. And, you know, these guys are just such great players, both of them at 60% PvP, so they're very even in that regard. Bisu getting a 4 star rating there, slightly lower than Storks. Aww. So I just, I love watching these guys meet, I love watching these guys play against each other. I mean, they're just the two best Protoss out there right now. And they're just so good in almost every regard, they have very few weaknesses, they're just overall very good players that have just, just that extra something that lets them win more than other guys. And lets them get through to the finals. I mean, nobody really thought Bisu was going to get a third MSL. Maybe not nobody, but it was doubtful. And people were thinking, ah, Stork will just stay silver. But he didn't. He got the gold, man. And now we're just going to see these two beasts, these ogres, match it out, man. Man. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. Man. I don't know why I'm saying man. I'm working, I'm working with a guy that's weird, so. It's going to be Neo Requiem. We're going to have Bisu, Orange. 3 o'clock position. Stork, red. 6 o'clock position. New Requiem, very interesting map. Uh, being recycled and not changed at all, from what I understand. Uh, you have your main on the low ground. And a ramp that leads up into the high ground, which is encompasses pretty much the entire field in the middle. There you have your natural expansion. Map is decent for Protoss. Very interesting PvP. Uh, and that it allows space to fly shuttles around. It allows for shuttle micro, but dropping sh uh, Reavers down into a base can be a little bit difficult if the proper defenses are set up. So I'm just looking forward to see what kind of matchup we're going to have here. Um, I'm, I'm a, uh, personally, I don't know, one of these guys could go for something a little bit different, you know, going for Dark Templar or trying to deny, the, you know, the scout and go for Dark, Dark Templar and surprise the other player, or we could just see more standard stuff, uh, Dragoons plus Reavers, and just a huge, huge fight in the middle, which I personally love in PvP, both players are very good at that. So, uh, these guys recently faced each other in the, what was it, IEF Championships, uh, where Bisu, I believe, won. Uh, there was a three-game match, so... Now Stork might be looking for a little bit of revenge here. <coughs> Bisu setting out a scout, he's gonna scout wrong, and if he goes clockwise, he's gonna scout wrong. Gateway Assimilator up, uh, Stork's Assimilator also just now coming up. So we're just gonna see from now on whether, uh, probably just gonna see after the gateway uh, course and after the cybernetics course, we'll probably see what the other player starts doing. Oh wow, both players start scouting each other pretty wrong, so <laughs> nobody's gonna know what the other's doing for a little while. Cybernetics care going down for Stork. I think it's going down for Bisu, although I can't see it for some reason. No, okay, Pylon first for Bisu. Bisu gonna spot that probe there. Uh, I don't know if that'll make him figure out where Stork could possibly be. Oh, let's see what's going on. 
Both players looking pretty calm, pretty collected, pretty ready for this. Second pylon going down for Stork, although I guess you people see that and I don't need to tell you. I don't see a Cybernetics care core for Bisu yet. Uh, I think it's rather late. He just probably decided to set down that pylon first. Maybe he's gonna just use quite a few many <clears throat> Zealots at first. Zealot is gonna meet that scouting probe from Bisu and it's gonna get in just rather easily and just gonna see what's going on. Gonna see spot that Cybernetics core and try to stick around to see what whether Stork goes for any other tech. Cybernetics care now going down for Bisu a little bit late. I think Stork should have that Dragoon out soon enough to make that probe go away. Uh, Stork trying to get his probe inside the base while the Zealot is blocking pretty decently. <clears throat> Gotta be pretty careful. Second gateway going down for Bisu, so it's a bit earlier, so he's gonna have a few more units once he gets that second gateway up. <clears throat> probe still alive. Dragoon falling now for Stork, so that probe's gonna be forced to move back. Bisu gonna, yeah, just gonna try to let the probe live, just not gonna sacrifice it for scouting purposes. Pylon, a slightly hidden pylon there by Bisu. Maybe he's gonna go for something a little bit different. He's obviously trying to deny the scout. He's gonna be very careful. The probe does get through though. Oh, scout. Scout did get through. He did. He does see that second gateway. I'm gonna go to it. I Definitely this wasn't part one of Bisu's ideas there. He definitely did not did want it to scout the pros. Dragoon for Bisu is gonna come out just as Dragoon and Zelot and go out. Two Zelots there coming out of Bisu's base with the Dragoon. So that's gonna follow that Zelot and Dragoon of Stork. Stork did see though what was going on and will react accordingly. Um, probably gonna set down his second gateway. Uh, I think he has to you know get up uh, a decent amount of units. And not go for tech, going for tech at this point is rather, rather risky. I don't know what building that is. Probe, ooh, probe barely survives. And gets their sniped off by another probe there. I think Bisu, I don't know if Bisu saw the next layer of tech. I don't know if that was tech was Stork going for, that was the second gateway. Uh, I'm not sure the show. Yeah, there he goes. It was indeed the second gateway. Robotics facility going down. I don't think that w w <coughs> started going down while the probe, Bisu's probe was still inside. So Bisu probably doesn't know that it's robotics facility, although I guess. I guess that he can guess, or like deduce, uh, Robotic Facility also now going down for pieces. So both players pretty standard, uh, gateway into Cybernetics Care, into gateway into Robotics Facility, pretty standard, Protoss versus Protoss play so far, four Dragoons, two Zealots out for Bisu, he's gonna chill out uh, near his ramp, gonna see if Stork goes for any aggressive action. So we're gonna see Reavers right now, uh, I don't know if they decide to try to drop something before that, drops can be useful. Drops can be pretty decent, plus, uh, especially at the position that they have, you can just send the shuttle to the corner and drop it down, or you could even uh, fly it by the middle and go for the back door, where the other player might not be expecting, although it seems like uh, Beast was actually setting down pylons there, so he, may, might, he might not spot the shuttle if it comes in his back door. Um, but he'll definitely be able to react just a little bit faster if it does happen. Bisuno moving out with his uh, decent, decent force. One Dragoon though at the start there, gonna see that the probe is gonna see it, but that probe is gonna move forward. Is that probe gonna get inside the base? No, that probe does not get inside the base. Bisu did well there, denied the scout, did not let Stork see what was going on. Bisu now camping out on... Stork's base. Stork has his robotic support going so far. I don't know. Bisu's going for robotic support right away also. No observatory. So he knows that Stork doesn't have any Dark Temple, so he doesn't need the observatory right away. But he'll eventually get it. <clears throat> Stork, however, could have used one. He not. He's probably not 100% sure what's going on there. Uh, shuttle not flying out. I don't know if that has Reaver inside. Observatory now going down for both players. I don't know if the shuttle has anything inside it. I don't think there's been enough time for Reavers to come out. Although, damaging the economy for one of the other players would be really, really helpful right now. A Reaver drop, successful Reaver drop, even a halfway successful Reaver drop would be very helpful because no expansion is going up so far. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, Stork now setting up, actually. Uh, not in his natural. He's just gonna try to take an expansion where it's hidden. Uh, Reaver now out for Stork, so he's gonna try to send that. Third gateway going down for Bisu. I don't know if he has any Reavers out yet. That shuttle is gonna fly. We'll see if uh, Bisu has four Dragoons there, so if he just doesn't move them out, they will be ready for the shuttle. I think Bisu is expecting the shuttle. He knows it's on the way sooner or later. And he has to do his best right now to prevent his own shuttle. is now coming out. I don't know. I think it has a Reaver in there since it's flying on. The shuttles meet each other. Shuttle gets met.